All right. In uh, this section here, we are still talking about um, optimization problems. All right. We have uh, we've got a farmer who's got 400 feet of fencing to enclose two adjacent corrals, and he wants to find the dimensions or the dimension of the corral so that the area inside is a maximum. So this is kind of a typical uh, typical optimization problem that you'll find in an engineering calculus class or uh, in just a survey calculus class. Alright, well let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is draw us a picture of uh, this corral and I don't know, we'll just use red, how's that? So it doesn't look like, oh my god, things aren't very straight here. Okay. So we got two adjacent corrals, and let's go ahead and label their dimensions. So this is the width, width, and width. So, you know, I know this picture's not very good, but anyway, this distance from here to here, right, straight across is all equal. These guys are all equal. And this is the length, right, straight across, and same same thing here. All right, so not a very good picture, but at least you get the idea. So we want to find what the dimensions are. We want to find W and L. So these are going to be our two unknowns, right, is W, L. And they gave us some additional information, and that is that the farmer has 400 feet of fencing. So we want to maximize the area. So I'm going to write it out like this right here. A is area. We want to uh, maximize the area and the perimeter we're given 400 feet. So we need to construct uh, these uh, two equations now. This one up here, this is our area that's to be maximized and we can simply write this as A is equal to and uh, we can say W times L. How's that? So W times L and then the parameter I'm going to go ahead and just write it over here. So P is equal to, now the perimeter, right, that's going to be, uh, right, the, all of this fencing right here, okay. And so we got 3W, 3W plus 2L. So there we go. We've set up our uh, two equations here. And what we're going to want to do now is, is go ahead and uh, plug in our 200 for our P, or not 200, 400. 400 is equal to 3W plus 2L. And of course, this is uh, what we are going to be at maximizing. I'm not going to rewrite that again. But what we're going to want to do now is, is get this thing all in uh, terms of, uh, or get this in terms of one of the variables, W or L. And I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to just go ahead and just solve for uh, L in this problem, I guess. So 400 minus 3W is equal to 2L. And then what we're going to do is uh, multiply. We're going to multiply through by a half all the way across. So this becomes 200 minus. 3 over 2w is equal to l. There we go. So we got l in terms of uh, uh, things are going to be, it looks like, up here in terms of w, right? So I'm going to now go ahead and write this guy out. Area is equal to, so we're substituting this w in, or I'm sorry, this l in right here. So let me just rewrite the w. l is equal to all of this stuff here. And this is going to be 200 minus 3 halves W, right? And we want to put a parentheses around that. Okay, let's put a parentheses around that. And we can go ahead and graph this, right? Remember, we can graph this and then take a look at uh, where uh, we're trying to maximize, right? Where the, uh, on the graph, where that would occur. But... <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do the calculus. Uh, what I'm going to do here is, is distribute this W across. So we have 200 W minus 3 halves W squared. 